As the first hours of April 19th passed, so did the hope of finding anyone inside the building alive. Massive piles of rubble outside the building blocked access to most of the first and second floors where many of the victims were believed to be trapped. Early on, that mountain of debris was removed almost entirely by hand with five gallon buckets to protect potential survivors, the structural integrity of the building, and to preserve any evidence. It's a mass murder scene is what we've got down there and uh, uh, a mass crime scene. And so the, the FBI is controlling it, and, uh, and we appreciate that and respect that because there's nothing that any of us want to do to jeopardize the FBI's case or the, or the case of the United States of America against whoever did this. Just north of Oklahoma City on I-35 on April 19th, authorities would have already arrested the mastermind without knowing it after he was stopped for not having a license plate. They'd make the discovery days later. At the same time, authorities launched a nationwide search for John Doe number two, the FBI eventually saying he never existed. It, uh, we do have some additional contacts made. And, and Back in Oklahoma City, search and rescue crews slowly shifted to search and recovery. I don't think they, I don't think rescue people ever run out of hope. Uh, they're, they're, I guess, as the governor said, maybe cautiously optimistic, but, but I think they deep down know the longer it goes, the less chance. As workers shifted tasks, President Bill Clinton in a prayer service four days after the blast set the tone for what America would remember most about Oklahoma, its people, and the Oklahoma standard. If anybody thinks that Americans are mostly mean and selfish, they ought to come to Oklahoma. If anybody thinks Americans have lost the capacity for love and caring and courage, they ought to come to Oklahoma. By Friday, May 5th, all but three bodies are recovered, located in a part of the building that engineers thought could collapse if breached. month after the deadliest act of domestic terrorism on May 23rd at 7.02 a.m., the Alfred P. Murrah building was brought down. While the implosion wiped away the visual scar on Oklahoma's psyche, it would only mark the beginning of the healing process.